Today is our show of the day, Finesse Mo. Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? Hope all is well with you. Uh, we are back with another video. I've been gone for a couple days. House has been full of people. Uh, yeah, I've been ce celebrating my graduation. And pretty much just hanging with family and all that, so I haven't had time to record. But now everybody's left yesterday, so we're here now. If you guys haven't checked out the last video, uh, please be sure to go check it out. I think it's one of my um, best podcast episodes. It's uh, me talking about uh, my graduation day, actually, what actually have happened throughout the day because uh, it was eventful to say the least today we're back with another artist of the day video um i'm excited man because we're all close to we're getting closer and closer to 100 artists of the day videos which is insane to think about that we've done that in less than two years this artist uh finesse mo was actually sent to me on a list uh shout out to dez um or d3z um an artist i reviewed before um he sent me a list that included finesse mo tay retro justice xavier and your stepdad and I already reviewed Tay Retro way before he even, I even found Dez, funny enough. Um, yeah, and he sent me that list, and I already reviewed Justice Xavier, which, that man, him and him and Liam Taylor damn near changed my life, because oh my god. And now we're here with Finesse Mo, this all-star list of rappers, man. We This is how the channel started, this is the roots, man, this is how everything started. I reviewed, one, I reviewed one person, and then they sent me a list of, they sent me a list of three people, and then one person sent a list of six people, and they're all great. This is how it's built. And it's happened again. <laughs> and so far, the list hasn't missed. Hey, Retro was good. Just as Xavier right now is damn near one of the best artists I've reviewed this year, period. I'm intrigued to see what Finesse Mo um, has to offer, because, um, yeah, I, I expect this to be good. There's no real description. It just says by any means in the Spotify description and then the uh, link to his link tree. So, yeah. If you're new to the channel, you're new to the artist of the day. Here's how it works. We take a new artist. We listen to three to five songs from him. Excuse me. And uh, Jesus Christ. And we listen to him uh, and we talk about things we like, things we don't like. And at the end, we give them a rating uh, as an artist um, as a whole. If you want to check out any of the songs that we review in this video in their entirety, a link to his to Finesse Mo's Instagram and uh, music will be down below. Be sure to go support him and give him a follow. Go check him out. While you're down there, please like and subscribe. Uh, share these videos, man. More eyes on the videos means more eyes on the artists, and that's always the goal for any series. If you want to be the next artist of the day, want your song, a track review, EP, or album review, all you got to do is subscribe first. Then the links of all my videos are... Uh, the links to my Instagram accounts, both my personal and um, and podcast. Follow both. One to keep up with, with what we all, what we do for the channel, what I do personally, um, let me, and also what I do musically. The links to my music will be down below as well. And from then, from there, you can message either account. I'm active on all social medias. I answer back to all my DMs. Just message me on either uh, about a little bit about yourself and a link to whatever it is you want me to review. It can be your music, it can be your friends' music, it can be your friends' friends' dogs' music. If you send it my way, the sooner, the better. I get more and more reviews, review requests each day. And since I've definitely been gone for about three days, I have gotten a lot more. So please send them in. Send them in. I love requests. I take requests top priority. The sooner you send them in, the better. First track we'll listen to is titled Soul Time. I'm impatient, stupid hoes, low expectations, broken hearts, no reparations, waste my time. We mm. Put my, ooh, he said put my... Bitch, before myself, before my health, and now I'm helpless. I like I like the syllable play he's doing. Yeah, women. I'm not. It's a jump. Kidding. Girl troubles, man. Always a fun thing to deal with, especially when you deal with a girl that's like cussing you out. You don't know how to handle that, man. It's rough out in the street. And I'm missing. I'm too rich to be stressing by the bitch. I know I'm tripping. I'm too rich to be rapping by the ops. I know they're listening. Mm. I don't give a damn about the bag. Complete the mission. Ugh. That 808's nasty. My heart beat beating through my chest. It got me going mad. My heart beat beating through my... Oh, fuck. I hate you with a fucking passion. God damn. Concise flows, good energy. Uh, everything seemed very well done. Um, I feel like though the beat was very minimalistic and it worked. Um, and, and him just kind of talking about like, um, I guess it gives his mindset in terms of like relationships and I guess his relationship with this chick and being like, "Yo, I can see that you still into this other dude, da 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 da, and all that stuff." And yeah, just um, 
and kind of the energy and passion he puts in the voice, I think it adds adds a lot to his performance. I really enjoy it. That's definitely going on the playlist. I feel like more could have been added to the beat to make it more like as he kept going, um, maybe make it more interesting. Um, I love the interlude spots. I think the transitions are smooth. I think it fits thematically of what he's talking about. Um, and it works. It works. It works a lot. So shout out to that. That was good. Next track is titled Thank You. I swore I thought this was Tyler Creator, and I don't know who this is. Like the sample, man. Thank you, boy. Love Oh my god! <laughs> the claps, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, these are this toxic future shit, man. Cheat on that bitch and show that you love her. What? What does that even mean? He wanted to cut, so we gave him an upper. All right, all right. Man, he don't like words like that. When you call me a bitch, you gon' take that. Cause I know your bitch ain't like that. This just got so much energy, man. This is this is great. The sample is great. Is it? Is that Tyler? Is I don't. Ah. Devil only not. I might he might he might have did an interpolation of whatever song that was. Cause it literally is my love's gone. It's not my love's gone, but it just reminds. This is literally Igor interpolation. Sample was good. Add a nice, um, a nice, uh, like almost melancholy contrast to how hyped up, hyped up and anthemic and bouncing and bouncy uh, the instrumental was and the whole song was. Flow wise, again, energy wise, I think was stronger. I think it, the, the instrumental, and everything. This song was definitely stronger than the last. Um, it has that rougher Skype kind of style, like SoundCloud under like SoundCloud underground rap type of production around it. Like it's just a little bit roughly mixed on the rougher side, but it's that's the charm of it. Um, like I said, Skite and Ayo Witty are really like prime examples of that. Kai Sani is another example of that. Tay Retro even a touch has that has that like type of rougher underground rap style of production and how like uh, that harshness but it doesn't sound bad at all i think it works and this is, um, i'm a fan of this song i'm a fan of this for sure next track is titled 12 stout street freestyle jesus good luck saying that five times fast <laughs> he sound like a he, he i don't know why but that yelling sound like where was you at when i needed some help he sounded like um a little bit like justice xavier there for some reason like, where was you at That's gas, man. Wait, 2022, we cracking safes and shit? Ooh, I like that. Mm. That song is one of the first songs that I'm hearing that sounds rough on the rougher side of something. I think uh, overall, it's like good energy, like the beat, cool. Um, it doesn't really necessarily feel like even like a freestyle. It's more like a wordy rant that uh, that he allows his emotions to take over so much that the longer he goes, the more offbeat he kind of sounds. It's not bad, but I'm personally not a big fan of it. It just just it feels like like even like in terms of like the how I see it. You could hear like how it's like it, obviously the words were like clipped together. Um, it doesn't flow as smoothly as the other songs, and this one's more of like a yes. This more one feels like a wordy, passionate rant than it does an actual like rap or an actual song. It's not terrible, um, but I don't know. It's just not for me, and I think it's just very. It needs more direction. Next track is titled Gotham City. Trust into my switch, like that's my Lord and Savior. <laughs> Put my trust into my source saying that's my lord and savior. That's out the gate. That's some bro. Don't even find out this man watches battle rap, bro. That's that Tay Rock. Gunball King. This is so cool. Oh, that's kinda this is kinda hard. I ain't gonna hold you. This the 808 is carrying right now. 21. 21, 21. It has that energy, bro. It's just like, Gotham City song just makes sense. The name of it makes sense. It's just like, you're creeping on the low. Like, it's like those serial killer scenes where like, like any Friday the 13th film, if you like watch like how the victim is like running away, like a full speed panicky, and like the serial killer is just walking, right? He's just, they're running, and he's just walking in the same following him. But you don't even gotta like, you don't even gotta run. It's like, bro, I know where you at, and I'm creeping, bro. 
this is giving off that same energy, that same just low key darkness, trapping on the low type, you know, a almost like cryptic feel. Race. Okay. Up stick, a race. Uh, up stick. Twenty one. <laughs> the only bitch I like to talk to is Siri, cause she's got the drop on the ops. Shout out to Siri, man. That song definitely had a better start than a finish. This finish almost sounded very inconclusive, um, like more sudden and abrupt rather than like an actual finish. Um, like yeah, I like the energy it comes with. It's very like creep, creeping on the low. Um you know, Dark Knight, no pun intended, like, a, a Dark Knight, not, like, Batman. Yeah, it's kind of, like, lurking feel, um, you know, and I like it. I just feel like more could have been added to it to make it more engaging, because, like I said, it sounds like it trails off sometimes towards the second half of it. Um, the first, you know, so I'm a big, bigger fan of how it started than how it ended. Um, the 808 is a great foundation. Um, I just think I, I would love to see more things added to it to really add to the atmosphere of what, it is that he's going for in terms of like what he's talking about here. A fan of the slow flow, I think it shows that, shows that he doesn't have to always go rap at 90, mile, 90 miles an hour. Um, and it shows that he has good pacing. Um, and and, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of biting bars. Um, trust, put my trust into the switch, like they, it's my lord and savior. Um, Serious only bitch I talked to because she got the drop on the ops. I like that. I like it. It's clever. It's clever. It's slick. That's for sure going on the playlist for me. I'm a, I'm a fan of that one, too. I'm a fan of that one. Final track we'll listen to is titled Goose Goose Duck. Man, don't do this, man. This drop better be hard, bro. I'm walking out because I love this. This is beautiful, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, bro. What is he doing? Oh my god, this is amazing. What is he doing? Wait, 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 wait. I fucked this so hard, she swore I had two days. What? That's just on the same level as, uh, what's that one bar Drake said? Yeah, that horrible Honestly Nevermind album. Oh yeah, your pussy's calling my name. I'm really racist only with some blue strips. Ah! I just, I just, I can't, dog. There's just so many bars that are just so funny. Really, the hook, I just caught the hook, bro. I'll be tripping off the Henny, I can do Henny thing, bro. Eat the head. So okay. gay. What? Oh my god. The, the I got double D's. The Glock got look like a big bitch. Oh my god. Don't let me find out you listen to Battle Rap. You a fan of Tay Rock? Gunbar shit, boy. What are we doing? I can hear Tay Rock say some shit like that. I got double D's. The Glock look like a big bitch. <laughs> That's fire. Yo, buggy. I gotta listen to this again. Cause shout out this baby char shit. What? Oh my god. His wordplay, man, is just is good. It's tight. It's slick. It's just slick. It doesn't need to be super complex, but the delivery of how he does it is great. Hey, goose, goose, duck. We don't give a fuck. Bubble in my cup. I don't give a fuck. What's up? I'm jumping up the block, spinning up the top of rock to spin the rocks. Hey, we <laughs> freestyle up the top, and it's light, and it's all bright that's how you know a song is good when it gave me the freestyle man that's good man i like that i like that that's my favorite that song is great that's my favorite one from him by far that shit is amazing that shit is that shit is great yeah, that that was really honest that's the first song i heard so far that like really culminates to everything i was talking about in terms of you know uh like i feel like he all these other songs while they're good um and there's elements I like about them. Uh, they all were missing that one element. Like the instrumental was felt very a bit dry, or the ending felt inconclusive, or it felt like they didn't really expand on the ideas they were talking about f to the fullest. And not in a necessarily like a full fledged song. And I feel like Goose Goose Duck is honestly the, the best example of all that coming together. The instrumental is great, a great uh, orchestral sample. Um, a lot of, it has, it feels like a, it's a Baby Tron type beat, um, to me. I hear Baby Tron on it, like, I, I could hear Baby Tron on it. And it kind of just had this bounce and this waviness that you could just groove to. 
and just all the just biting bars, fun wordplay, just slick performance. Everything just felt so smooth. Everything, all the flows felt tight. That one I say is my favorite song and his his best in my opinion so far. How that is only at three hundred ninety four thousand when like others are like at three point one is a travesty to me. That's definitely on the playlist. I like that one and that's honestly yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10 for that one. I definitely recommend that one. It's fun. All right. That was Finesse Mo. How am I feeling about him as an artist overall? I like him. I like him. I think he's fun. I think he has he's slick wordplay. I think he has a lot of energy behind him. I think the, his production choices are solid. And um, I think, yeah, I think he's fun. I think he's, he's definitely really good. The, my favorite things about him is his ability to like keep a flow consistent and the energy consistent from the beginning to the end of a song. And yes, while the songs aren't necess not necessarily long, he's rapping at such a pace that you can sometimes, at rapping that fast, it can feel, it can be hard to maintain enough personality and energy throughout uh, however long you're rapping for, especially at 90 miles an hour. And I think he does it really well. I think he makes it engaging, even with the beats being minimalistic at times. Um, I think I think it makes it fun. I, I, I love the choices he makes in terms of even the, the flows going on a slower pace like for Gotham City. Um, I think he really adds that dark edge feel of that song as well as like versus the speedy flows of Soul Tide or Thank You. I'm a big fan of the instrumentals on all, on all that. I think um, Goose Goose Duck is by far my favorite. I think it, it's, a, it's a culmination of everything I like about him so far um, all in one song fully expanded upon upon everything and he flows over a good beat i think it's just it's a, it's a definitely a banger i would love to hear that at a concert in terms of the things i feel like that could be worked on or things i see that i guess to me are a little bit things to watch out for um i the biggest things start with 12 stout street freestyle i feel like while his performance was good it wasn't necessarily a bad song and the beat was was all right um i just think like because it, it felt very it felt the, the ones with the least direction. It felt the, the sloppiest out of all the five songs I've heard. Um, it didn't feel like a freestyle more. It felt like a wordy rant. I'm a big fan of the energy and, 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 the, and the passion he puts behind his voice. I'm fine with that. I feel like it required more direction and more attention to detail for it to feel more concise to me. Gotham City um, and it is another one where I'm like, this one's good. The 808's a great foundation. Um, I, and I love the pacing he does and the spaced out like the time he takes with his vocals, I think it's a really good choice. But I just feel like, again, I feel like the instrumental could have had a little bit more something, a little bit more. One more thing could have been added to really add to that dark, edgy feel and fully commit to these ideas. I think he has great instincts in terms of uh, musically. I will just love to see him expand upon it. And I feel like he did, I feel like it worked on Goose Goose Duck. That I would love to see him do it more. If I was to give him a rating out of 10, I'd say a decent, strong seven. Decent, strong seven. I really enjoyed what I heard today. Um, there's a lot of great things I'm hearing, and, I, and I'm excited to hear what, what he does next. If you guys want to check out any of the songs we heard in their entirety, uh, I'll leave a link down below to Finesse Mo's music and Instagram. Go give him a follow. Go support him. He's awesome people. While you're down there, like, comment, and subscribe. Share your videos. Share these videos with your friends. Um, it helps a lot with the algorithm, and more eyes on the videos means more eyes on the artist, and that's always the end goal. And if you want to become the next uh, artist of the day, or you want your music reviewed, it can be you or your friend's music, it can be your friend's friend's music, it can be your friend's friend's dog's friend's music. All you gotta do is subscribe, like the video, and uh, follow us on Instagram. Links to all that will be down below, and then message me on either account. Message us on either account, um, doesn't matter which one, my personal or the podcast. Um, and then send me what you like. Um, what you want me to review. It could be a song, an EP, an album, or just your profile and you want me to review it a full artist of the day. The sooner you send it in, the better. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, today's artist of the day was Finesse Mo. Links down below. Uh, check out my music as well. Links to all that down below. Stay safe. Take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.